Hey everybody, welcome to Read and Feed, where we read God's Word to feed our souls. My name is Joe, and I will be reading from Proverbs 15. We're trying to do one Proverbs or one chapter of Proverbs each day. And this is the New King James, and let's pray real quick. Father, thank you for your word. We know it brings us life. Um, Reveal yourself to us, God, what this word means. This truth means your truth becomes our truth. Lord, we know that you'll do something amazing in our lives when, when we draw close to you through your word in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm trying to look at the camera right there. Proverbs 15. A soft answer turns away wrath but a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge rightly, but the mouth of fools pours forth foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping watch on the evil and the good. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness in it breaks the spirit. A, fool's, a fool despises his father's instruction but he who receives correction is prudent. In the house of the righteous, there is much treasure, but in the revenue, the revenue, revenue of the wicked is trouble. The lips of the wise disperse knowledge, but the heart of the fool does not do so. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. The way of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but he who loves him follows righteousness. Harsh, dis harsh discipline is for him who forsakes the way, and he who hates correction will die. Hell and destruction are before the Lord, and how much more the hearts of the sons of men. A scoffer does not love one who corrects him, nor will he go to the wise. A merry heart makes a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken. The heart of him who has understanding seeks knowledge, but the mouth of fools feeds on foolishness. All the days of the afflicted are evil, but he who is of a merry heart has a continual feast. Better is a little with the fear of the Lord than, than great treasure with trouble. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a fatted calf with hatred. A wrathful man stirs up strife, but he who is slow to anger allays contention. The way of a lazy man is like a hedge of thorns, a hedge of thorns, but the way of the upright is a highway. A wise son makes a father glad, but a foolish man despises his mother. Folly is joy to him who is destitute of discernment, but a man of understanding walks uprightly. Without counsel, plans go awry but in the multitude of counselors they are established. A man has joy by the answer of his mouth, and a word spoken in due season, how good it is. The way of life winds upward for the wise, that he may turn away from hell below. The Lord will destroy the house of the proud, but he will establish the boundary of the widow. The thoughts of the wicked are an abomination to the Lord, but the words of the pure are pleasant. He who, is greedy for, he who is greedy for gain troubles his own house, but he who hates bribes will live. The heart of the righteous studies how to answer, but the mouth of the wicked pours forth evil. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. The light of the eyes rejoices the heart, and a good report makes the bones healthy. The ear that hears the rebukes of life will abide among the wise. He who disdains instruction despises his own soul, but he who heeds rebuke gets understanding. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. And that is Proverbs 15. Uh, I am going to focus on a couple of verses, three verses here. Verse 1. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. The knowledge of the tongue, the tongue of the wise, use, 
The tongue of the wise uses knowledge rightly, but the mouth of fools pours, pours for foolishness. And then verse 4, a wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness in it breaks the spirit. And then 7, the lips of the wise disperse knowledge, but the heart of the fool does not do so. And God, God's word here is really showing us the power of our words. Um, look here, even in verse 1. A soft answer turns away wrath. I know I don't act that way many times, but when I do, I know that God, this is God's way. That we use our words wisely. And God contrasts the difference between a wise person and a foolish person in these verses alone, and it all comes down to words. So I'm, I'm going to meditate on that. I'm going to think about it, ponder on it. Um, for those of you that know me, my family and coworkers, I, I'm pretty addicted to Ricola. And I'll just take one of these and let it melt in my mouth. And meditation is the same way. We take these words and we just mull over it in our hearts. And we think about them. We just let it really... Um, we allow it time to resonate. If you're new to reading the Bible, pick out a couple of verses and just think about them and pray and say, God, what do these words mean? What do they mean for me? And I know that God will meet you it, it, with, in faith. God will meet you where you're at and he will bless you, even if it means correcting you and helping you steer the right way. And it's because he loves you. And with that, um, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe, join in, and comment below. Take care. God bless.